Welcome students. In this video, I explain how to make notes that are interactive and can be used for retrieval practice. I will coach you to use this method in a later video. Um, this is part of the metacognition series, thinking about thinking or thinking about learning. The Cornell note taking method is one that makes you think before putting notes onto paper. You have to put your notes down in various sections of the paper. At the top, you will have to put a clear title and date, ideally. In the main body of the sheet, you will have to make your notes. You will be reducing and transforming the information from your source of information, which could be a course textbook, a revision guide, a video clip that you've just watched, a lecture from a teacher or professor, or, you know, anything, to be honest, uh, into key points. So you're going to reduce and transform that information into key points. So you're going to bullet point it. You can use pictures and diagrams. You can use keywords. You can use um, phrases, equations, whatever helps you to remember. The key bit is the margin on the left of the main body of the um, Cornell notes. This section is where you will categorise and connect your key points into keywords or clues or questions to help you remember the detail in the key points. Once you have completed this, you can cover the key points and see if you can recall the information using only the keywords or clues or questions that you have listed in the margin. The summary section at the bottom is there for you to review what you have learned or remembered. Personally, I think this section is only useful if you can add to it every time you go back to the Cornell notes in a form of retrieval practice. Therefore, I would advise you to write your summary on a sticky note that can be replaced every time you reuse the Cornell notes. If you don't understand what retrieval practice is, have a look at my video on the um, revision cycle to find out more about retrieval practice. Hopefully, you can now see the use and benefit of the Cornell note-taking method to record information and to use it as a retrieval practice tool. Good luck.